Hey, what's up, guys? Is the game rest? Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. And in today's video, we have the Halloween event of 2023 in Rainbow Six Siege. Each year, the new event comes out, and every single year, we have the glitch spots, what I call them. The glitch spots are the places where you can get on top of things, things as the closet, or for example, like a box. And pretty much the attackers can't attack you, can't kill you. And by that people are winning rounds, so pretty much winning games, which is really unfair for a lot of people uh, and also unfair for the game because it actually ruins the game. In this video I will demonstrate these spots, how to use them and provide tips on how to bypass them as the attacker. So the first thing that I'm going to say is if you're going to play this spot, the best attacker the best defender is Smoke or Azami because they can help you a lot with the placement and that the attackers can do the glitch with you. Number one recommended defender for this strat is actually Smoke but Azami is also pretty good. You can all use a Rooney too if you're really desperate and the other ones are taken but it's pretty bad. Or maybe Torn is also a possibility by the way. So let's get to it. The glitch is going to take place in the generator room on the first floor. The one thing is you have to try and run up slash just crouch down on this atom thing. So it's uh, you can't really miss it if you go into the first floor to the generator room, you'll pretty much find it. It's not really that difficult, you can get on top of it really easy, just try to run. So as a smoke you can also place a smoke grenade there because that will pretty much help you if the attackers come, they won't be able to go up there. And you have to jump on the closet right here. This is pretty a god mode spot unless they actually come and they do the same thing. So that's why I said that Torn is really useful or for example Smoke is really useful. As you can see right now in the video I'm not even doing it. I'm just killing the attacker and it's pretty fun actually. So I'm not even exploiting it this round. Uh, to be honest it's really not fair and I hope Ubisoft patches it because it's really unfair for the event. And a lot of people are really misusing this because they're pretty much taking advantage of everyone in this spot and they are just playing time because you don't have that much time for the Halloween event. So get on the closet, it's the right column, you have to push on the right column right now, I'm running because they will get me probably, but you have to do it in the beginning of the round. I will also show you a really good example of someone actually using this and here is a guy you can pretty much see he goes at the atom on top of it pretty much and jumps on the right column. So only the right column will show you the space uh, or the jumping bar, which you can use. You see this guy is trying it, but it's not really going good. That guy jumped off again. It's, it's the smoke you have, to, uh, you have to look at. The right column, he tries. It doesn't really work 100% uh, all of the times, but it's working pretty good if you get good at it. So as you can see smoke got on top of it and he's pretty much using it as you can see. If you use it like this, uh, and by the way there is also a possibility to fall between the columns of the, of the upper thing, upper uh, shelf. What you get is you fall down a shelf like this and the problem with it they can actually get you. So they don't really even have to get on the glowing thing. They can pretty much do it from downstairs as you're going to see right now. So he's standing there and in nope, they still get him. The reach is crazy on that thing. And it's a pretty good thing because otherwise he would have won, which is really unfair for the people playing. So if you're an attacker and you're playing against someone that's using this strat, be aware that you won't win the round if you just focus on that guy so pretty much also try to kill other guys but also keep in mind that you can pretty much get to them because the reach on the hammer is crazy so if it, even if you're standing in front of the closet or uh, at the side of the closet you can still get them no matter how high they stand but just have to try and the most difficult part is actually smoke or azami or torn throwing the grenades which pretty much take a lot of time, especially smoke is really, really a pain in the butt at this, uh, at this place. Uh, it was also the same thing with the previous events in 2022, it's the same thing. Uh, so for now, this is the only place I actually come across that works. Uh, other places are also, there are a couple other possibilities, but those are really bad places. I really can't call them glitch spots because it's pretty much getting on top of a shelf 
or another shelf even like a, a small like uh, coffin and they can run up to you and kill you so it's not really a good thing to show it's pretty much you it's no it's not you useful you can pretty much better run around and do your own thing or like this guy jump out the window but it's not really useful to uh, go on those uh, coffins because it's yeah it's no good they can pretty much run up to you and kill you immediately so that's not good this spot is right now the only spot i come across and people are starting to use it so it's yeah i hope ubisoft does something about it really fast but this is one of the spots and pretty much the only god mode spot slash really good spot for the halloween event 2023 I want to say thanks for watching guys and I hope you consider to subscribe. I usually post videos about a lot of games, sometimes also random videos about myself, so it's pretty funny. Thanks for watching, have a great day and uh, yeah, don't be misusing this or at least don't do that too much guys. Bye bye.